Hello, and welcome to Proof of Concept, hosted by yours truly, Fax T. Future. In my channel, I normally spend a lot of time talking about GPT-3, which is this cool new AI model developed by OpenAI. But today, I also want to talk about the other company I think will be the most significant for humanity in this next decade, which is Neuralink. Today, Neuralink will be hosting a public conference at 3 p.m. Pacific time and making what I think will be historic announcements. Neuralink is literally building a brain implant, which will allow humans to interact with computers and devices, and I personally think it deserves far more attention than the amount of hype given to other consumer electronic announcements, I won't say who, such as a thinner phone, or perhaps a waterproof phone, or a phone which can recognize your face. To be honest, I was getting hyped thinking about what Elon might announce today, and I was trying to predict what might happen but I don't have any insider information, so I couldn't come up with anything. And sort of, there wasn't much news about it either. The company is pretty quiet for the most part and stealth. Which eventually got me thinking, what if I used OpenAI's GPT-3 to help me come up with predictions about today's Neuralink conference? So today, before the conference, I will be sharing my findings from this experiment. Let's get started. I started by just asking GPT-3 why Neuralink is even significant at all. Here's what it had to say. It said Elon Musk has gone on record saying that the first truly conscious AI may be born as early as 2027. The very scary part about this is that if we are not prepared for it, this AI could become a great threat to our existence. This is where Neuralink steps in. It plans to create devices that will connect us to the AI so that we can keep its capacity in check and control it when necessary. Okay, so. Basically, GPT-3, which is an AI, has clearly explained to my simple human brain that Neuralink is significant for humanity in order to eventually keep AIs, I guess like GPT-3, in check as they become more powerful and significant. Got it. Next, I asked it to make some predictions for the conference. Here's what it came up with. Its first prediction was that Elon will announce a first human trial by the end of 2020, first whole brain interface in 2021 and a Neuralink consumer product not for ne not for medical use by 2025 and then it even inclu included a quote i guess that we might hear from the conference in the conference which is we want to bring something to market that helps with severe brain injuries stroke cancer lesion congenital in about four years and it even quotes elon musk in another round of predictions i had it run again uh, the first prediction is made as first human trial by the end of 2020. I, I guess it feels pretty strongly about this. Uh, next, strongest chip ever built, 1 million times more powerful, powerful than existing commercial chips. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. First demonstration of a brain-computer interface with the human brain. I guess that's what GPT-3 is saying, what we might see today. A working Neuralink in vivo robot by the end of 2021. And I guess a first demonstration of a direct human brain to computer interface. Um, and it goes on to say like the benefits, like we could see through other people's eyes or have sight beamed into our mind. In the third round of predictions, uh, it predicted the same thing, which is the first human trial by the end of 2020. Uh, first implementation of the Neuralink technology in a human being by March of 2021. And then I guess it's even saying we could even see an announcement for the first brain machine interface devices on sale for general consumers within 18 months. Now, this seems pretty ambitious to me. <laughs> I don't even think uh, Elon has said they're on that kind of timeline. 18 months is pretty soon. And also, I think in the last conference, Elon mentioned that they're going to first focus on medical uses before they roll out to general consumers. I think that's what I heard. But anyways, still pretty cool. I mean, it's I guess it's sort of feasible within GP, within for GPT-3 to come up with and suggest. Uh, the reason I really liked this round of... Uh, generating predictions was it was even saying how towards the end it was even saying it suspects by early 22 or 2023 that uh, basically a lot of employees at major tech companies will already have Neuralink so we'll start with that audience before it rolls out to the general public GPT-3 even wrote at the end that it's excited about this future <laughs> so which is an awesome awesome way to include its own opinion in the predictions it's making about Neuralink and our future. Uh, so far, I think GPT-3 feels really strongly that we'll see some kind of human trial by the end of 2020, that that's what's going to be announced today. 
but I'd love to see how these other predictions pan out as well. After the conference, if anyone wants to come back to this video and comment on how GPT-3 did, I'd love to read and participate in the discussion. I will eventually be releasing a follow-up video on the implications of Neuralink and if you combined it with GPT-3 in the future and what it means for us. That's all for today. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for cool prototypes, interesting concepts, interesting ideas about the future. Thanks for watching.